Hi, my name is Scott Howard. I want to welcome uh, the Metro Baseball League with our partnership with True Players Facility as well as CA Gear. True Players is the facility on this side of the building here in Rosemont. On the other side of the building, uh, we do our uniform and apparel business through CA Gear. Uh, it's a one-stop shop for everybody. We manufacture all of our uniforms and apparel right in our building here. I'm Zach Seifel. I played at Egan High School Baseball. Uh, Went to Minnesota Crookston, played college for three years, and now I'm playing with the Atlanta Braves. So what we're doing here with True Players, since everybody's at home, uh, if you go to our Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram account, you're gonna be able to see drills that you can do at home every single day. We've got some hitting drills on there, and today, since we got Zach here with us who works with pitchers here at True Players, we're gonna do a, a drill here that's gonna focus on your balance points. So let's go over here. We have a mound here from the good people at Porta Lights. This is something that we're gonna work on right here on this, this mobile mound, but it's something you can do on flat ground, obviously, as well. So what I'm gonna do as a coach is I'm gonna stand behind Zach. He's gonna work on his balance point. He's gonna turn back, I'm gonna hand him a ball, and he's gonna drive and throw back down towards the net or if he's playing catch with someone. notices he's pausing at his balance point for about three to five seconds. I like to tell players that we want to be able to eat dinner off of our front leg, which is going to allow your arm to catch up, and then you're going to notice also how steady his head is at the same time. Balance, direction, extension. See he's driving down, you can see how far his stride is here, and he's keeping his head still. Let's do one more. Good balance point, there you go. So we're gonna go through a few strength exercises here that you can do at home in your backyard, in your basement that are, are really baseball specific. Uh, Zach's gonna demonstrate a few of them right here. So we're gonna start with our arm bands. Um, we're gonna be feet shoulder width apart, um, kind of in an athletic base, and you're gonna do different paddle off variations. So starting with the hold, you're gonna hold for about 10 to 15 seconds, eight to 12 reps or so. Um, with the holds, there's also different variations that you can do. You can do the presses, same thing, staying eight to 12 on all of these. And then there's also the press and pull. You're gonna do those as well. And you can also do rotations. So getting those both on both sides. So depending on how old your athletes are, uh, when it comes down to baseball specific movements, uh, we don't want to put a lot of weight over our head just because of the awkwardness of the actual throwing motion. So that's why the bands really come in handy. If you don't have bands, you can do it without it, but it's a good strength exercise. So the next workouts we're going to really emphasize is kind of your single leg movements. So we're going to start, if you have dumbbells, if you don't, either one is fine. So we're just going to do reverse lunges. Getting about, again, eight to 12 reps on those. So for the next exercise, we're kind of gonna continue to work on the core. We're gonna work on our side. So kind of on your elbows here, keep your hips up. You're gonna keep your knees on the ground and you're gonna rotate with your arm. Going as far back and as far forward as possible. About eight to 10 reps on those for both sides. And then to use your upper body a little bit more, one of the uh, the main exercises that we use is push-ups into downward dog. So I'll demonstrate those here. Getting full row here. Range of motion, getting up, bringing it back. Feel the stretch in your upper back. So again, doing those about 8 to 12 reps.